Welcome everyone to this CUBE coverage of AWS reInvent 2021. We have a lot going on at this year's reInvent with over a hundred guests on the program. And I'm excited to welcome two of those guests here with me right now. We are joined by Ralph Munson, the Chief Information Officer at Warner Music Group, and Atif Khan, the CTO of Alkira and founder of Alkira as well. Gentlemen, welcome to the program. Thank you so much, Lisa. So glad to be here with you. Good to be here. Yeah, good old fashioned Zoom has is, is become our best friend in the last 22 months or so, I'm losing count. Um, Atif, I'd like to start with you. I know Alkira has been on the queue before, but it's been a while and you guys are a relatively young company. Give the audience an overview of Alkira and what it is that you deliver. Absolutely, Lisa. Uh, so we started back in uh, May of 2018 in the uh, cloud networking space, multi-cloud networking. Um, and uh, we came out of stealth mode uh, back in April of 2020 um, and uh, launched the company. In fact, uh, one of our uh, uh, first uh, uh, events uh, coming out of stealth mode was a Cuban interview back uh, in April of 2020. So uh, here at Telkira, what we are doing is we, we are building a, a cloud platform which allows customers to build a common network uh, across multiple clouds with built-in network and security services uh, with a policy and management layer on top, full end-to-end -end visibility uh, and uh, governance capabilities. Uh, and all of this is delivered as a service and consumed as a service as well. And I'm, I'm very glad to be here with uh, Ralph, uh, who is uh, from uh, uh, Warner Music Group and uh, is one of our marquee customers. Uh, so I'll, I'll uh, let uh, Ralph uh, uh, introduce himself and uh, uh, tell us a bit more about uh, uh, Elkir and WMG's uh, cloud journey. That sounds great. Ralph, why don't you start by giving the audience, I'm sure everyone knows Warner Music Group, but in case there's anyone out there that might not, give us a little bit of a background. So yeah, so Warner Music Group has been around since 1950, right, 1940 even. Uh, had its roots out of uh, Hollywood, out of Warner Brothers Pictures. Um, today, it's a global company in 79 countries we operate in, 5,100 employees, um, and we have two major divisions. We have our uh, recorded music division, which has the labels. People commonly have heard of Atlantic Records, Warner Brothers Records, and so forth. And then we have our publishing division, which is Warner Chapel, which is where our songwriters live. And of course, we have some singer-songwriters that are in both sides. Uh, of our business. But uh, you know, currently people may know our artists. We have Ed Sheeran, Bruno Mars, Coldplay, Cardi B, Blake Shelton, and I could go on and on. Um, but exciting, great year. We're having a, one of our best years ever. And um, that's it. Yeah, glad to be here partnering with El Kira. Excellent. I love all of those those artists that you mentioned. Fantastic. So let's talk a little bit about now, Ralph, about the backstory. Talk to me about the IT infrastructure at Warner Music Group, what you had there, and some of the challenges that you had that you came to Alkira to solve. Yeah, well, initially when I took over about five years ago now, um, we were very much a data center-based business with traditional networking and IT functions. Additionally, with our, with our foreign affiliates, um, IT was sort of decentralized in the sense that a lot of the networking and data center components were left to regions. And so while we operated globally, we didn't really operate globally um, at Warner uh, among our affiliates. So one of the challenges was how do we get out of the data center? Cloud was new. Uh, one of the big things that were coming with big data, which is absolutely right for moving, going straight to the cloud, especially if you don't have anything on-prem. and how do we rationalize all of these different locations and conduct all the M&A we've been doing? So it was quite a challenge. Um, really, at the end, we wanted to have one view of the network. And Alkira, I, I looked at many of companies and Alkira seemed the best to uh, provide that to us. So. Well, talk to me a little bit more about why Alkira, because as Atif was saying, they're, they're very young. What came out of stealth mode during the pandemic Warner Music Group being around since the 40s and 50s, a legacy institution, a great brand. What made you take a risk on such an early stage startup? Uh, quite frankly, there was nothing in the space <laughs> at the time we looked. There were, there were companies that had components of it, 
of what Alcura did, does, which is basically network orchestration, allowing us to use the existing components, but nobody had the whole package, especially incorporating security. So, you know, we figured why not take, take a chance? There's no, it won't hurt, it'll do no harm. And if anything, if successful, it'll give us a great ability to manage our network much more efficiently, taking things that took days down to hours and uh, being able to do it much more efficiently with much, much uh, fewer staff as opposed to hiring a lot more. Because when you orchestrate all the components that are underneath, um, obviously it requires more bodies, and more, more resources. Right, and that efficiency and cost optimization is key there. Atif, I have to ask you, talk to me about, this is only a few years ago, the gap in the market that you and your brother saw a few years ago when you founded the company. Because as Ralph was saying, there was nobody else in the market at the time that could do what you're doing. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, Lisa, as you know, uh, myself and Amir, uh, we were also uh, part of the founding team uh, of Viptela, which was the SD-WAN uh, company. So uh, back in the day when we did SD-WAN, the requirement was to connect uh, sites together. Uh, so if you go back like five, 10, five, seven, 10 years ago, uh, networking was done to connect sites together, which could be remote sites, data centers, uh, sites to data centers, uh, all of that together. But uh, fast forward uh, a few more years uh, with the adoption of uh, cloud, uh, requirements changed uh, uh, from the networking perspective. So now your network is not just connecting sites together, but uh, most of the traffic now is from sites or users, which could be sitting anywhere. Uh, if you look at what's going on uh, in the pandemic, people are uh, working from all, all across the globe. Uh, uh, they are not just sitting in, in, in campuses or, uh, or, um, or sites. Uh, so traffic patterns are from sites or users to mostly to the cloud or SaaS applications. So now um, networks also need to evolve and they need to be built inside the cloud rather than from outside into uh, or connecting to the cloud. So cloud access is one capability, but building a network inside the cloud uh, it becomes a requirement. And secondly, um, now it's not just only about connectivity because security becomes uh, even more important uh, because your security perimeter is changing as well. So securing all these cloud networks um, becomes very, very complicated. And, and, and now as uh, Ralph can uh, tell you, uh, majority of the enterprises have a multi-cloud strategy uh, and each cloud is done differently. So the moment you bring in multiple clouds, multiple regions across the globe, it becomes so complicated uh, uh, for enterprises to build and manage. Uh, they, they need uh, something or, or a platform which makes it easy, gives uh, them one way of doing networking, uh, building a common network across uh, whether uh, you're connecting multiple clouds or clouds to your on-prem locations, or clouds to internet or sites to internet. So that's where we saw this uh, this gap and we decided to uh, to build uh, Elkira to tackle this problem. Got it. So Rob, let's talk now about what you've implemented as Atik was you know, saying, we live in this, in this work from anywhere, hybrid multi-cloud world. Talk to us about Warner, what you implemented and maybe a little bit about your multi-cloud strategy if you've got one. Yeah, so over the last, five years, um, Warner has migrated entirely into cloud. And to its point before, it's multi-cloud. Um, we're mainly in AWS, but we do have some Azure and some Google Cloud. Um, and with that, I was telling uh, Atif and Amir, Amir, um, it was interesting when they built the cloud, it's like they totally forgot about the networking aspect. So <laughs> you have, you have uh, uh, ease of use for services and service inside the cloud, but networking was not really present, not to mention when they when it was built out, it wasn't made to go to competing clouds. So most companies are facing this problem. How do you treat these environments as a single holistic environment? How do you turn things up, turn things down? How do you secure it when every single one is different and have its own unique um, ways of doing things? So that really was how we ended up looking for an Alcura because I just kept looking at the costs and the footprint grow and grow and grow and the complexity to a, a to this point before is growing exponentially. One change in one thing would lead to two changes to another. If you add another cloud or you add another point on the network, you've got exponential growth and complexity, complexity you have to deal with. So one stop and shop. <laughs> one stop <laughs> shop and reducing that complexity. Talk to me about right. reducing complexity and what, what you're accomplishing there, especially in the last year and a half as things have been so dynamic, shall we say? <laughs> yeah. 
Um, well, I, I will say this. It was, it was turnkey for the most part. It took a matter of months as opposed to years um, because out of the box, there was a lot of integrations with, with the major network of the players. So as of right now, you can buy firewalls, routing, VPC, things like this. They all exist, but they're not orchestrated together. Right? And then you have policies and security. Again, not orchestrated, a different set of tools. So it really only took us two to three months to get it up and running. And I was just, um, I actually, I just had a conversation with him about when we were going to finish. So I think we'll be, our, we'll be finishing this up completely in January at some time. So That's fantastic. Sure. So really, a, yeah. sorry, Ralph, a, a fast time to market there with getting things implemented. Talk to me about from a business outcome perspective, your CIO, what are some of the outcomes that this technology is enabling you to deliver back to the business? Yeah, really the number one, uh, two, two big ones come to mind. One, being able to provide a secure enterprise. I know when there's a change, it's made uniform through our network without some node or some piece being forgotten about. So that's number one, security is big. You can imagine a company, company like Warner with marquee brands, all brands, any company with marquee brands are targets today. That's number one. Number two is our time to market for M&A. So when we buy a company, the time it takes us to get them and to be completely part of Warner and therefore start realizing the business case and benefits or the reason we bought it, bought the company to begin with. So you know, we're buying a lot more and we're turning them up and turning those business cases up faster. But usually those cases would say things like six months to a year to integrate with us. And then we can unlock this set of benefits. Now it's more like, you know, two to three months and you start to be able to lock the benefits sooner. And of course, that's, those are those different on a case by case basis, but that's, that's it. Sure, but significantly faster there. You know, you're looking at a two to three X multiplier there as you talked about. Right. Now you, you mentioned multi-cloud, Ralph. So I, here we are at reInvent. I imagine part of your AWS is part of your cloud infrastructure and they're a technology partner of Alkira's. Correct. Yeah, so AWS is actually our biggest cloud provider of the three. Um, and yeah, I'm, <laughs> they're, they're a partner with Alkira, so good. And Atif, you, uh, Alkira is a technology partner of AWS, correct? Yes, yeah, so Alkira is a technology partner of AWS. We are also available on uh, AWS's marketplace, so customers can, uh, consume uh, um, Alkira's platform from AWS's marketplace as well. But given the fact that so many businesses in every industry are multi-cloud, I assume that you work with all the cloud vendors, Atif, yeah? Absolutely, so, so um, our platform runs inside of the cloud, it runs in uh, AWS's uh, cloud as well. And uh, from there, it connects to multiple clouds. So if, if customers uh, need to connect to Azure or, or AWS from there or, or Oracle Cloud or any other cloud for that matter, uh, they can connect uh, from our platform. And our platform is, uh, it scales horizontally. So as uh, customers uh, needs uh, scale, it scales uh, as well. Uh, and uh, one of the key advantages is um, uh, it's consumed as a, as a service. So there's no software uh, to download or uh, hardware to run for or, or to uh, acquire for any of the customers. It's a, it's a software uh, solution and it's uh, consumed as a service. Got it. Ralph, one, one more question for you before we wrap things up here. I want to get your recommendations for IT executives, CIOs who might be in a similar situation to you, whether or not they are with a legacy organization. What are some of, the, of your recommendations that you say you need to be looking at A, B, and C? Yeah, I would, I would primarily say you really need to be looking at um, some of these newer technologies that can help speed up, you know, people, especially in this case, to transition to the cloud and that planning ahead of time, um, especially goal setting, I find to be with any of these licensed providers um, is absolutely paramount because you can, if you, if you don't make your organization take it up and take that step forward, you can end up with shelter. So I make sure that it's very important that when you commit to this, you commit fully, you plan it out, and you make sure you actually use it to get the benefits. Um, one of my pet peeves is shelfware, so <laughs> I have a bit of it. So. Well, you've been there, it, it, it costs a lot of money and it doesn't do any good, it doesn't move the business forward. And in this day right. and age, there is a competitor right behind in the rearview mirror 
who might be smaller, more nimble, more agile, who can take your place easily if Absolutely. the organization isn't willing to take the risks and commit, as you said. Atif, last question over for you. Where can customers go to learn more? I know you are at reInvent, your booth 1628, but where, where do you recommend folks go, attendees of the event as well as just other prospects to go to learn more about what you guys are delivering for companies like Warner Music Group? So if you're at uh, reInvent, please stop by our uh, booth and uh, one of our cloud specialists uh, will give you a demo as well. So it's a very quick demo and you'll see how we are, we are reinventing networking for, for the cloud era. Uh, you can also go to our website and uh, uh, you'll find a lot of information on our website. You can request a demo uh, there as well. Uh, so look forward to seeing uh, most of you at our booth uh, and uh, those who are not attending in person, please go visit our website. Reinventing networking. I like your play on words there, Ati. Very appropriate. Gentlemen, thank you for joining me today talking about Alkira Warner Music Group, what you guys are doing together and how this new early stage technology is really quite transformative. We appreciate your insights. Thank you. Thank you so much. For Ralph Munson and Atif Khan, I'm Lisa Martin, and you're watching theCUBE's continuous coverage of AWS reInvent 2021. Thanks for watching.